still only been through so many games together because half your roster was kind of added to this team in January and February. As you go through these challenges, like dropping a game by a wide margin and then respond to it uh, with a big win, how do you see that growth playing out in your locker room? Um, well, every day is a learning experience for our club. Uh, like you said, we're relatively new to each other, so every time we get an opportunity to come together, either through a practice or a, um, a bus ride or a plane or a plane, a trip or a game, it's another opportunity for us to continue to learn each other, continue to get better, and continue to build our chemistry. And um, today was another example of that. LeBron, by not shooting in the first quarter, was this another case of you just let the game come to you and let it build along the way? Um, well, obviously, you see the way D'Lo started the game. Um, I think he had our first 11, and, uh, and then AD chipped in, I believe, seven in that quarter. Um, so it allowed me to, um, you know, kind of focus on the glass. You know, um, also had a, a few assists in that first quarter. Um, it wasn't how the game was playing, but that's just how the game was going. And for me, I'm never, a, I'm never a force guy. I've always been a guy, you know, let the game come to me and uh, make my imprint when needed. LeBron, were you were you surprised at how you dominated this team, this particular game, at home? Um, you know, I, I don't think I don't want to say we dominated them. I think we um, we played the game the right way. Um, and, and one thing we were not very good at in, in game two, we went very forceful at the rim. You know, we allowed their pressure uh, to get us on our heels in game two, and um, we're very good when we're getting the paint. That's that's just who we are. Um, we do have the ability to shoot the outside shot, but um, we are, we're a, a paint team first, and then we spray out for threes or, or for the perimeter. And I think tonight we just play more Laker basketball and, um, you know, try to control it that way. Law. Ron, uh, to your right, uh, you – you got to the line and you hadn't scored yet, um, and y'all were down seven. And at that point, uh, after, after you made your first couple free throws, the game switched. Like that was the middle of a 22-point turnaround. How did get into the line tonight and really get into the line all season? How how does that like spur success for the Lakers right now? Well, I think um, you know for our ball club um, or, or for any. If you talk about guys in the league that have the ability to score um, and score in bulk, uh, the best thing for them to do is see the ball is just to go through, through the rim. And, you know, they call free throws for a reason, so you want to try to go up there and make them. They're free. And, you know, for me, I saw those two go down, and uh, I believe I'll follow that up with a transition spin move on Draymond with a float over the top. And then um, we was able to get a stop. Um, I was able to, to hit another to hit a three across from their bench. And, and then we just started going. Um, you know, and we went from, like you said, down seven, I believe, at one point to uh, having an 11 point, <clears throat> excuse me, 11 point lead at halftime. So just try to feed off the fans, feed off our ability to defend and, and, uh, and, and just put the pressure on them. Thanks. LeBron, uh, D'Lo was in here a couple of minutes ago, and he said that when the trade was made, all the trades that happened at the deadline, he thought there was potential, but he thought it would take a, a little longer period of time, especially with the injuries. Are you surprised that it has gelled so quick? I think you haven't, you guys haven't lost a home game since late March. Um, well, obviously, I mean, like you said, we had a lot of injuries, and um, myself, I was out for um, a few weeks. Um, you know, when we was able to make the trade, I think we played like. Then when D'Lo and them guys got here, I think I played like three games with them. We had some success, but then I went out with an injury in Dallas, um, you know, and was on the shelf for four weeks. But one thing I noticed um, that I, you know, how the team just clicked when in, my, in my absence. So I knew right away once I came back I could fit in and we can uh, we can play some good basketball. You know, I, I, I knew that. Um, I knew guys were um, playing for one another. Guys were playing hard. We were sharing the ball. And uh, we was playing the other way that we envisioned the Lakers to play. And, uh, you know, it's resulted in us being in the second round of the playoffs up until this point. Crystal, to your right. Uh, LeBron, congrats on the win. Uh, you spoke about the hot start from D'Lo and AD. Only, only one ball in this game. Um, but how did you feel like your defense affected things, especially early on when things were a little tighter? Well, I mean, I said to, um, after game two that no matter what goes on, we hang our hat on our defense. Uh, we one of the best defensive teams in the league. Um, if not the best, and in order for us to reach our potential, we have to defend at a high level. And um, uh, there's not one team in this league that tests you at that, at that, on that side more than Golden State. So, um, you know, it, it keeps us on alert, you know, throughout 48 minutes. You know, every possession, 24 seconds on the shot clock, they will make you work throughout that whole possession. So, you know, you have to be alert and it tests our defense every single possession going against a team that you know um, with, with so much firepower. Thank you. 
LeBron, obviously job's not finished, but to keep having significant basketball moments with this city, what does that mean to you right now? Um, just try to make uh, memorable moments, that's all. You know, and uh, the postseason is the best time um, in, in, in our league. You know, you have an opportunity to play in the playoffs, something that you never forget about, something that you never take for granted. So, um, you know, the moments we get to play in front of our fans, uh, you know, we cherish those for the rest of our lives, that's for sure. Chris? Brian, this series is every other day. You're playing a game. Narratives get changed and shifted each game. I know you're used to this. How is your team? Have you been able to evaluate your team and how they handle, you know, things that are being said outside yeah. from day to day? Well, I think just for the young guys that hasn't been a part of the postseason or have, you know, not much experience in the postseason, just stay off the TV and stay off social media. Um, you know, you, you win a game, everybody's the greatest player in the world. You lose a game, they're they throwing dirt on you. It's literally that simple, you know. It's all about, you know, training your mind for, you know, the next challenge. You know, what's the next challenge? This game is over with. We play well. Okay, cool. But we got another one on Monday, you know. So, you know, um, if you got a show to watch or if it's one of your favorite movies or if you like listening to music or if you're reading books or whatever the case may be or playing cards with the family, whatever, you know. But you, know, you stay off social media. And, uh, and when you watch the other playoff games, watch it on mute and play some music in the background. That's what I do. Last three. Melissa. Hey, Bron. Um, above all else, you're a father. Um, what were the emotions today around seeing <laughs> Bronny commit to USC? Um, first of all, congratulations to my son on, on um, you know, his next journey and picking a, a, a great uh, university in USC. Um, you know, I'm proud of him. Um, this is uh, an incredible thing. I was, I think I told Mike after the game, you know, unless it was like one of my, you know, great grandmothers or great grandfathers or someone that I was way before my time, um, to my knowledge, uh, this is the first one out of the James gang to go to college. Um, obviously, uh, his dad didn't go to school. Um, you know, his, his mom didn't go to college. Um, you know, I think my mom went, stepped on, maybe stepped on campus for a little bit. You know, maybe a community college or something. But she had my little ass running around, so she couldn't spend much time in the classroom. Uh, 19 years old, she couldn't do that. I was three. Um, so it's um, very, 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 very um, exciting. Very humbling. Um, and, and great moment for our, uh, for our family. You know, it's just uh, super cool. He's a great kid. Uh, USC is getting a great kid. I would say they, he's there to play basketball, but uh, you know they're going to be a, a super um, surprised how, how great of a kid he is, uh, even though they've been recruiting him for quite a while.